Uh, welcome back to our class. Yeah, today we are going to be looking at the process of translation. Here, uh, let's look at the process of translation. Uh, basically here, now the messenger has moved out of the nucleus. It has gone to the cytoplasm. And then it attaches itself on the ribosome. So now we want to bring the, 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 the amino acid to the ribosome so that a chain is formed. Number one, what you say is uh, each transferrin A carries a specific amino acid. It means that it has three bases. The three bases, they code for a specific amino acid. These bases are called anticodons. When the anticodons on the transferrin A, yes, those three bases happens, matches the codons on the messenger. So the three bases on DNA, we call them codes. The three bases on the, 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 the messenger, we call them uh, codons. The three bases on the transfer, we call them anticodons. So the DNA code for the codons on the messenger and the messenger codes for uh, the, 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 the three bases on the transfer, which are the anticodons. And then the anticodons, they code for the specific amino acid. That's why we're saying that each transfer and a code for a specific amino acid. It's like a key. The other one will not enter or to open. When the anticodon on the transferrin A matches the codons on the messenger, so what happens? This transferrin A will bring the required amino acid to the ribosome. So it will bring the required amino acid to the ribosome, and then the amino acids become attached by a peptide bond. We call it a peptide bond, not polypeptide bond. Don't say polypeptide bond, we will cross it. It's called a peptide bond. If there are many, we call them peptide bonds, not polypeptide. When you say that, cross it. So amino acids become attached by peptide bonds and then uh, to form the required proteins. That's what we want. So this is what uh, ex exactly what is happening. This is exactly what is happening. Uh, each transferrin A, each transferrin A carries a specific amino acid. For example, uh, it carries a specific amino acid. Ne? a specific amino acid. This cannot carry another acid, no. And then you're saying that when the anticodon, when these three anticodon, yes, match with the codon, yes, match with these codons. For, the, for example, is T goes with A, T goes with A, and then A goes with U. When they match, when they match like that, yes, now what happens? This transferrin A will bring this amino acid, which this, these three bases, yeah, which code the anticodon will match this. So it brings this uh, required amino acid to, uh, it brings the required amino acid to the ribosome. So now the amino acids are joined together. So it keeps on bringing, bringing, and then the amino acid are joined together by these bonds, which you call, you see? These bonds are called the peptide bonds to form a required protein. And then you form this uh, polypeptide chain, but now it grows, once it grows, it is more than 50 amino acids, then we call it a protein. So these are amino acid. If they ask you what is this, it is called a polypeptide chain. Yes. And then this is the messenger, the three bases on each, we call it, call it the codons. And then on the DNA, we call it the uh, codes and then on transfer we call it anticodons and then this molecule where transfer uh, where messenger uh, lines is up is called a ribosome.
much uh, for watching. Uh, next time you are going to be looking at the mutations on DNA. Mutations on DNA, and then we're going to see some questions. How do we answer questions concerning about DNA, the structure of DNA, so that you are able to to pass this this topic. It, just one week is enough to grasp this this topic. So you need to know that this is DNA, this is messenger, this is messenger steel, this is transferrin A, this is uh, this is a polypeptide chain, this is amino acid, and then this is a transferrin A, it is a T, eh? that's why it's called T, and then this is uh, three bases, which you call the anticodons. Three bases on this messenger, we call them cod codons, and then three bases on DNA, we call them anti, uh, we call them codons. Yeah, thank you uh, very much.